Hello everyone, this is Nick Perry at Schaefer's Investment Research with your chart slide show for Friday, June 22nd. Today I am back with my weekly check of the broad market indices. In last week's chart slide show, we were discussing the bounce we'd seen. We talked about the SPX pulling back to its 50-day moving average and rallying off that level. The Dow stayed above its 50-day and managed to bounce. Uh, the chart that I said I was watching the most closely was the comp and that little support area right there which we discussed had been resistance there had been acting as support there and I want to kind of see a bounce off of that and we've got the rut which has just sort of been meandering around support basically I left last week saying that the uh, uptrends remained intact uh, action looked constructive uh, basically talking about these longer term support levels that I've been discussing uh, for a while are, is being things to keep an eye on when we turn to this week's charts, we see a pullback. Um, and basically, it's eh, just before 1 o'clock here, uh, Eastern Time, as I'm recording this. When I look at the indices, the SPX is pretty much uh, right near its lows so far the day. Uh, had been holding uh, around 15.14, around that area, 15.12, somewhere in that zone. Uh, and on about half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago, we saw a pretty uh, quick break below, and now we're basically flirting with yesterday's low. Uh, I debated whether to you know, record this now or give it a little bit more time. Um, when I looked at the charts, I thought, you know, it's, I, I want to get this out there and say, here's what I'm looking at right now uh, because we've got a couple of things to keep an eye on. In terms of the SPX, basically, we've got this little pullback here. Uh, as it stands right now, we're still holding at the 50-day moving average. Um, again, as I've said, you know, I look at that as, as a level to watch, you know, we've, we've seen breaks of it, uh, where the action gets pretty nasty below it. We've also seen breaks where it pretty much meant nothing. So again, it's, it's, it's out there. People look at it. So I, I look at it. Uh, but what I'm really looking at here is let me clear this chart off. Uh, these lows here, that's the first level of support that I'm watching. Um, in the blog I mentioned yesterday's lows near 1505 on the SPX uh, is at the moment we're pretty much flirting with those uh, tick below it but we're kind of holding right around it uh, but I think this the lows here uh, the recent lows that's the more interesting level if we see a break there um, I'd be looking for a test of this support uh, as far as the Dow chart goes it pretty much uh, mimics what we just discussed in the SPX so again I'd, I'd be more inclined to keep an eye on the SPX action than on the Dow action here uh, but the comp chart is still interesting to me. You know, basically, we had the support here, and you know, we're still a decent way away from that support zone. So that's that's one thing I'm watching on this pullback. As far as the rut goes, um, we've got support there, but as I've said time and time again, uh, I tend to take a little bit longer term view of the rut. Uh, if you, well, it's not seen in this chart. Basically, you've got this big congestion area right here. Uh, we're basically just flirting with a breakout above that. If we see a breakdown into it, I, I don't necessarily consider that a bearish pattern. Um, ultimately, a break below here, below that bottom support zone down here, would be something I'd keep an eye on. As far as overall takeaways from the week, um, you know, we have seen some mildly um, negative action in the last couple of days. Uh, the last few days, yesterday, we did see a bounce. Uh, but overall, you know, we're, we, we have seen a little bit of a pullback. Um, bigger picture view, you know, the uptrend still remain intact to me um, you know ultimately we've got support longer term support zones here um, that I'm keeping an eye on uh, I did mention that we're going to see potentially some whippy action uh, as the holiday nears and if you read the blog you'll basically see uh, anytime we get near a holiday or this these slow times I talk about how I don't put as much focus on the technicals basically I'm looking at technicals as a way to gauge market you know reactions and how traders are positioning themselves when you get light action you don't have full participation you're not getting a full read so if you do see breaks uh, below support you see breakouts I'll note it but it's it's to me it's not as important as when you've got full participation there so anyway you'll see more about that in the blog um, but the main takeaway for this week is we have seen a pullback um, on the SPX. We're still holding above those lows. If we do see a break down there, we've still got this uh, main support to contend with. And on the comp, we basically have these lows here, that support there to keep an eye on. So that's what I'll be watching in the coming week. As always, uh, stay tuned to the blog for further updates.